And welcome back to this day. You know, Laguna Woods Village has beautiful manicured lawns, trees, gardens, and the gardening club folks aren't part of that, but they have their own world of gardening that they really enjoy, and they want to invite you into it. We want to welcome to the program Geneva Benza and flower artist Denise Wilson. <laughs> Denise, welcome to the show, and, and Geneva, welcome back. Hi. Hi. So real quick, Geneva, I want to talk a little bit about what the Garden Club is all about. What do you guys do? You have the monthly meetings and, and you, you bring in speakers like Denise. And what, what is the, what's at the heart of the club? The heart at the club is people connecting with people. We have uh, a little socialization afterwards where we give, uh, we serve snacks so people can talk to one another. Uh, we have garden walks where members can get together. We hold workshops. We have happy hour for new uh, members. Now you're talking. To get to know each other, yeah. We also have a holiday luncheon. So uh, one thing that's important to tell people is that we've moved to Clubhouse 5 for the near future. So our next meeting is Friday, <laughs> a mere two weeks after our last one. And it's in Clubhouse 5 from 2 to 4, the normal time. And Denise, I think that's where you come in. You're going to be a, a guest speaker this time around, right? What, what, are, you going to, what are you going to do for us? You're going, to, you're going to tell us how to make beautiful arrangements of flowers and other plants in the house? Exactly. Um, I think a lot of people don't know how to really structure a vase of flowers and no placement. And I'm just going to really show people um, how important it is to to use the right kind of things to really stabilize the arrangement when it goes in so you can place. Mm -hmm. And focal flowers and linear flowers. So it kind of gives that, I'm going to give them a concept of how just to do a, a basic arrangement from the flowers you pick up from the store. You know, you pick up a package of flowers and sure. they're all together, them in a vase and they don't look good. I'm going to be that person that shows you how to do that. And um, also use, utilizing things in your yard to put in vaseware, maybe to put in the foyer or somewhere in the house. And lots of greens are always something very beautiful in a vase. Also going to tell the ladies how to tie a bow. Oh, there you go. Now we're getting somewhere. So, all, yeah. right, all right, here's what a, a clunk I am. I is there is there a science behind? Do people actually go to classes and learn the arrangement of flowers and plants and those kind of things? Because to me, it's like, well, it looks nice or it doesn't. But there's a, there's an art to it, I guess. There is, and and it's practice makes perfect, and yeah, it depends. I mean, I've been trained by a lot of different amazing designers. So throughout the years of my experience, I've been able to pull the break from everybody to create things and you and, and color combinations are super important too because i don't like red and yellow together but some people do but you know I just hmm. put flowers together that, that blend that look good that accent each other and and you know make each other look good so yeah there is a major art to it it's um it's a very time sensitive industry you know you're always based on time trying to get things in and out um lots of holidays and nowadays everything's online so it's kind of taken away the creativity of the artist because now we're doing a picture right and so denise when you guys are looking for speakers like uh i'm sorry for, uh, geneva when you're looking for speakers like denise uh is is this kind of a kind of a cool unique kind of speaker that can come in and, and open up that world to folks who didn't know about the artistry of all this Yes, exactly. Uh, we go through great lengths to try to find speakers that are excellent in their field. You know, um, I could I could talk about flower arranging. You know, I've read a couple books, but I want more than that. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and Denise, you sound like you yourself. All right, so Denise, when you walk into a store and see like the, the Albertsons flower arrangements, do you kind of go, oh no? Or or do you, do you think folks, you, you you know, people who are in charge do a pretty good job or, or do you always look for ways to improve those things? Um, I think they do a pretty decent job. Most of them. <laughs> and the interesting thing is, 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 you know, most people don't really know what they're looking for. You know, it, whatever appeasing to them is what's gonna work. But yeah, they're not that bad, really. I mean, they're not doing high in design, but they're doing like an everyday arrangement. And I think they do pretty good jobs. So I, I try not. Okay, go ahead. What are some of the things that 
a novice, give me give me step one. Like, a, uh, what do I look for when I'm trying to make an arrangement? Is it a variety of uh, heights and colors and and shapes and and those kinds of things and making it all, all work? It depends on if you're looking for a large arrangement. Um, I generally do something that goes all the way around so you can see the beauty from every angle. You want linear flowers to be above, and then you start to kind of blend everything in. And then as you get lower into the arrangements, you're going to have big popping flowers like stargazers or hydrangeas or amazing peonies, you know? So it's kind of your eye drifts all over the place, but there's a, a specific structure to it in order for it to all sit in its right spot. Okay. And it's techniques that people don't really realize that they have to do. So I'm going to simplify what seems difficult is really not if you just do like the fundamentals of it and you can create anything. The base of an arrangement has got to be strong enough to hold your flowers. So when you drop a flower in, it stays. So that people have a tendency not to have a strong green arrangement in there in order to place flowers. And clean water is really important. <laughs> right. Cut the stem yeah. clean water and make sure the flower actually stands with it drooping over. <laughs> exactly. exactly. So you want like a strong structure, you know? Right. No, it makes sense. It makes a lot, a lot of uh, simple variety. things that people don't think about. Exactly. Variety of greens you can get out of your yard, you know, and long, pretty fun, you know, foliage is my favorite. Oh, um, back to Geneva real quick. Uh, you guys have a garden fair coming up at Clubhouse 5 oh, and Fry on April 19th. Give folks a little preview of what we're going to see there. Oh, OK. Well, um, it's in a new location and we have more room. <laughs> Uh, one of the new things that's going to happen is people, our members, and actually people of the public can bring in arrange, flower arrangements like, like in a vase or in a pot. And uh, they, they bring in some really unique things. And this year, because we've been asked so many times, we are going to allow this, the owner of the arrangement sell it should they desire because oh, we've okay. asked in the past for that then we have, have entertainment we'll have someone playing the piano uh we have vendors there uh from the village and they will be selling the the crafty things that they make and we're going to have a, a raffle like we usually do at the fair so there will be boxed lunches and um, coffee, tea. There'll be a no host GRF bar for beer, wine, and soda. All right, sounds like a fun event. Um, Denise, what got you started in flower arranging? I know you do a lot of other things, but flower arranging is kind of like one of these passions for you. What what got you started? I, I see all the pictures in the background there. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> um, like I was uh, explaining to you yesterday, um, I was a manager of a bar and restaurant and I got married and I needed to kind of get out of that industry and get a new, I'm an artist anyway. I've been doing hair since 84. And, <laughs> and so I just actually, in, it was like, I don't know, the nineties, I answered an ad in the paper back. Remember when we used to do that? Answer ads. <laughs> papers, I remember those. <laughs> and I went into this flower shop. It was crazy. Flower designers are crazy. And I was like, Oh, I so fit in, you know, and apparently, <laughs> or left within two weeks I was behind the table and they were already training me and so that was the beginning of a very fascinating career so I you know it's funny because I don't think of and, I, and this is just, again me being kind of a clunk not, I don't think of flower arranging as an art but that you definitely have to have that artist's eye to really understand that and then be able to teach it to other folks right right and not only that is you got to create something out of nothing and people are uh, people throw some amazing things out there going well, this is what I want. And you have to like, how can I make that happen? So you really have to have the creative abilities to create whatever, you know, your clients are desiring. Lots of funeral work, lots of stuff like that. That takes a lot of art to do all those color combinations and flavors. And people are very demanding on what they like. So you got to be able to figure out how to design it and then create it. Well, there you go. Well, we're going to figure all that out on Friday, March 15th, 2 p.m., Clubhouse 5, five Creating Beautiful Flower Arrangements with Denise Wilson. 
Denise and Geneva, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.